As for wild caught versus uh, captive bred for fresh water, you need a bit of both to have a proper balance. Mm -hmm. uh, properly managed fisheries like Project Piaba in Brazil yep. and some of these different places around the world, they're instrumental for in in increasing the diversity and the, the quality of the fish stocks. Because as you've seen, some stocks coming out of certain farms and stuff like that, the, the integrity of the fish is yeah, gone after so bad. many generations. I've seen a lot so, of fish you know, I, that don't even look. Well, they resemble their wild counterparts, but yeah. they're so diluted. Yeah. yeah. And they're, yeah. and the, even their body shapes are starting to change. Their coloration's washed out, or mm -hmm. it's pronounced too much. Like a lot right. of, you know, and the long fin variations. I hate those, or short bodies, or... Well, oh, I'm yeah. fully on board with you there. Yeah. I'm fully on board with you. I know, like, I, seeing these long fish... Why is it always fish that are atrociously aggressive, or fin nippers, are all the fish that end up being made into long fin variants? It's the Oscar. There's a long fin Oscar. Really? And one <laughs> of the... <laughs> One of the, the the key components to an Oscar is its body shape and its paddle-like fin that yeah. makes it a powerful swimming predator. But then we want to give it butterfly wings. So it looks pretty. I mean, some fish <laughs> kind of look good as yeah. with with you know long fins or butterfly, yeah. like some koi, I guess. Yeah. They they do it to the Asian arowana, but yeah, yeah. I think it's just. As soon as us humans get our hands on something, we have a good way to fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta yeah. figure. Well, the, the reality is, is that uh, the, the, the aquarium keeping is global. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah. Joey's audience is global. Aquarium keeping in North America is very, very much. There's a, it's driven by a lot more purists. Mm -hmm. Like a hybridization is somewhat frowned upon by the masses. But if you were to go over to the Asian community, have you ever been to Aquarama yourself, Joey, in Singapore? No, I've been to Chinatown though in okay. New York. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but if you were to ever go to the big giant trade shows in Europe or go to go or in, sorry in Asia, yeah. and you see the way they do it, mm -hmm. they are they they're all sitting there trying to develop something new, and that's your flower horns and your blood parrots and all these different things. Because the first guy that comes up with something that's really drastically different, he's going to make his money. Yeah. You know that electric yellow, that beautiful electric yellow African cichlid. You, you know, there's guys over there. They're trying to find a way to turn that fish hot pink. Yeah. yeah, they're doing anything they can, hormones, whatever it takes to get that. Because if they could stabilize a hot, and they're really that, good at it, they can make millions. They'll find a yeah. way to breed everything. Uh, yeah. I was just telling a story. I, th I don't remember who that one was to. I've had quite a few guests on here now, but the, I haven't been able to edit it and get them all up. But I was talking about the story of the Ultimate Angel. Yeah. Um, impossible mm -hmm. to breed in captivity uh, in numbers, obviously, to sustain the hobby. And over in Asia, they figured out how to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the story completely because it was told to me like five, six years ago. Um, a discus exporter, he went over there to find the best discus. And he went to these farms where swimming pools, literally swimming pools, Olympic-sized pools. He sent me the photos. were filled with thousands of discus growing out. It was insane. Wow. But he also showed me a picture of how they were breeding the ultimate angel. How do you think they did it, Chris? I'll, I'll, I'll pick your brain there. Uh, I think I've heard it, but I know it's not just in Asia. The the Israelis that do all that stuff, biosecure, mm. they're breeding not only Altums, but they're also breeding hybrids as well, mm -hmm. which are more stable and easier to replicate quicker. Yeah. They have the Altum shape and body, mm -hmm. and they grow faster like a scalera. They've just crossed I don't it know with how a it's being done. Yeah, they've crossed it so they get the, 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 the vitality and the, the speedier growth and the easier of reproduction. just goes to show that there's so much more talent over there. And I think that um, the Western... Uh, aquarium industry is more uh, commerce driven uh, instead of like mm -hmm. you know creating new new types of fish. But anyways, mm -hmm. they did it. They did it um, in a bucket, a five gallon bucket, uh, and a breeding cone with a with a net, oh, not a net, but like a screen over the cone. It was forcing the male and female to actually fertilize and take care of the eggs yeah. in a small space. It was something like that. I can't remember specifically. And he'd kill me if I if I said it because he's like, "This is top secret." But that was like five <laughs> six years ago. Yeah. I was like, "Man, secrets out." Yeah, I was like, "I can stay quiet until I started podcasting five years." <laughs> yeah. It was longer than five years when I went to LA. Yeah, that was four or five years ago, something like that. Um, but the Asian the Asian population's been doing this for centuries. Yeah. All your goldfish varieties, yeah. your koi, all those things. You know, look at a normal carp; it's a, gr a greenish gray, ugly fish, right? Well, I think, and they, they develop koi. I think uh, long term hobbyists like yourself would be able to do more had we had more stable temperatures year round, and we could do stuff outside, yeah. like the people in Florida Definitely. do, it, yeah. and have these vats and pools mm -hmm. and whatnot. We can't do that, no. and it's not practical <laughs> to. Um, have a massive fish house like rusty for example um no. or even my gallery like that i mean that you know it's 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 insane to to think 
like if it wasn't for YouTube, there's no way I'm having that. That yeah. makes no sense. Yeah, I don't have the kind you of. You wouldn't be able to afford the the electrical. The, the electrical, <laughs> the maintenance. It was, it would, I I don't know. I'd have to sell my body, and I wouldn't yeah. make much money from it. Twenty bucks. <laughs> Had a, 